What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about season 6 of Looser and Scrolls because they finally changed some of these rewards. Now really quick guys, before we jump in, this is super important. If you're watching this, that means that Chiskel Gaming uploaded a video of my city getting rallied. Now, I told you guys a little over a week ago that my city was in fact rallied during KVK. I recorded the footage and tomorrow I will be uploading a video showing my perspective of that rally. But I wanted to see if Chisco would be interested in posting it on his channel and kind of dissecting the rally and seeing kind of how I did and trying to make it more of an educational type of video. So I haven't seen the video yet as of me recording this. Of course, if you're watching this, I probably will have, will have seen it already, but huge shout out to Chisco. I'm sure you guys, if you, if you watch me, I'm sure you, you know of him. Okay. Let's, let's just be real here. But if there is some slid, sliver of a chance that you're watching this and you haven't seen his channel, there will be a link in the description below please go over there and show chesco some love if you somehow aren't sub to him obviously go and do that he's a really really great guy super nice um and i really appreciate him giving me the opportunity to kind of uh be featured on his channel a little bit so guys please check out that video link will be in the description anyway guys looser and scrolls season six is here and we're gonna be talking about it because they actually made some pretty cool changes in here and you may have missed them if you weren't paying attention because i think looser and scrolls is one of those events that people kind of overlook because it's just a battle pass that they essentially let's be real here they essentially copy and pasted every single season now they eventually added the 80 plus tier rewards so if you exceed the cap and they give you a little chest every single extra level that you get those chests to me are kind of underwhelming unless you get super lucky but besides that change the only thing that usually changes is they put new emotes in there then they put a new city skin and then a new uh little thing that you can like a decoration for your city and that's pretty much it i think those are the only things that they ever changed until now okay so seasons i think one through four four or one through five were all pretty much exactly the same and there's not really a good resource that's tracking this event every single season there's not like a website or a youtuber that's tracked every single looser and scrolls i didn't see any youtubers post about season five like i just i just didn't because people it's like it's an event that people overlook right so there's not a good resource to track so i don't know if every single season has been exactly the same for every single one of these levels right so if you have that resource available please comment down below and let me know but it's my understanding that at least seasons one through four were identical i believe they added the 80 plus chest in season four it might have been season three um but regardless those were pretty much identical season five may have changed slightly um but the end rewards were pretty much exactly the same season six is different in many ways okay let's jump into it okay this has been a long intro to the video let's jump into it the first 28 levels are the same except for the emote okay so besides the esong emote uh for these levels here they're identical to all the previous seasons of looser and scroll so all this is exactly the same uh oh they also change they add name plaques and uh the avatar frames or whatever um i think this to me plaque looks really cool and there's also uh where is it this level 30 avatar frame looks really really cool i can't wait to get those but level 29 is where we see the first actual change to the rewards and what they did was they went from two material choice chests to four so small change but it's double the rewards which is cool this is essentially equivalent to one green material it's not that exciting right it's not that exciting but it's still double the rewards for that uh the divine inheritance tier which is cool let's move on uh level 36 they actually changed for it went from three gray chests to eight so that's a pretty big jump almost three times more rewards here for this level 36 tier next we can look at 37 actually changed this used to be a gold key right here and now it's 15,000 experience i think i'd rather the gold key honestly i mean gold keys are just more exciting and i have experience now granted i don't know i i guess gold keys can give you experience too so like i think a gold key might have been better especially now that the odds are uh, in gold keys is better like the odds of getting a legendary in a gold key is higher since the latest update 
I think I would have rather a gold key here, but that's just me. Uh, maybe new players who really need to level up will benefit more from the experience. Let's move on. Number 41. Uh, and yes, guys, if you're wondering, I did go through every single one of these levels and, and cross reference old, an older loose and scrolls. Regardless, level 41 used to be a single green chest and now it's five. So that's a pretty big jump, right? And we're at level 41. So you get five times more rewards for this that's essentially a little more than a blue chest which is nice let's keep it going here level 48 is where we see the next change now of course i'm going over these ones right like obviously the emotes change we talked about this okay um 48 changed 48 used to also be a single green chest and now it's five so again we went from one to five a nice change there right i love that so think of it right think of it in the previous seasons at this point at level 48 you're more than halfway through right at level 48 you would have only had two green material choice chests and at this point you would have 10 plus all the gray ones right so that's a pretty big change as far as materials go and i think that's one thing that's really bottlenecking people from making a lot of the new equipment that they've made more readily available in the game and we've seen lilith has done a pretty good job actually at providing ways to get blueprints through like canyon and all these soroli events and all the events that we've seen lately they've done a pretty good job at getting blueprints but materials are still kind of hard to get so the fact that they're increasing the amount of materials in lucerne scrolls is really exciting for me let's keep moving on stay Age 50 or level 50 changed as well it used to be a single blue chest and now it doubled to two amazing right blue chests are really good i'm glad to see that the next change was at level 57 and we see this used to be two gold keys and now it's 25,000 experience again i think i would have rather the gold keys because your boy's trying to expertise martel he's got one more skill left and i just don't have the heart to use universals on him so I would have rather the two gold keys but it is what it is level 59 also changed we had one blue chest here before and now we have six six blue chests that's six times more the rewards for this level now again guys this doesn't sound like a lot but you have to compare it to what we've been paying for right like these the divine inheritance is a 20 dollars upgrade ancestors legacy is a five dollar upgrade and we're going to talk about how far you can get into this without paying money we'll, we'll talk about that and the difference between these two and which one you should invest in um but this is big right six blue chests that's one and a half purples i love it right i love it level 59 level 69 is where we see the next change again we're skipping over these heartbroken i love this because esong is a commander that everybody uses right so a heartbroken uh esong is hilarious um uh, so level 69 kappa this is uh this used to be two gold keys and now it's two dazzling starlight sculptures i would have preferred the gold keys for sure because you can get these in gold keys right i, I think yeah you can you guys ever lock your front door before you go to bed and then you're standing there and then your brain is just like did you lock the front door and you're just like yeah i locked the front door and then your brain's just like are you sure you locked the front door and you're like yeah i literally just locked it and then your brain's like but what if you didn't lock it and then you're like you're right and then you turn around and you go to make sure that you locked it and you know you locked it and it is locked right that's what it's like making youtube videos i was a hundred percent sure that you could get these in gold chests and i was right but i had to go check because i knew that i'm filming and if i was wrong on something like that there would be comments so uh, i'm going crazy anyway you definitely can get gold stars from the gold keys okay i knew that but you you guys made me check that's what it was you guys made me check anyway uh level 69 we saw um we saw kappa we saw it went from two gold keys to two get dazzling starlights i would have rather the gold keys but that's a very small change level 70 also changed this is a big change for lucerne scrolls this is a big big change okay we went from it used to be two dazzling starlight sculptures now it's five gold keys so that more than makes up for the change in gold keys we've seen over here right we also see the city theme at level 70. prior to this the city theme was level 80 which means that you can get the city theme with the five dollar bundle you can get the city theme with the five dollar bundle however you have to do every single challenge so if all you care about in lucerne scrolls is the city theme you can get 
7,110 clues uh, for Lucerne Scrolls by just doing every single challenge, every single daily, every you have to have a flawless playthrough of this season uh, in order to get level 7, you'll, you'll actually get level 71, I believe, um, without messing up anything, okay? With that being said, that means the $5 bundle, you can get uh, really good value, right? You can get really good value because you get the city skin, you get this, you get if you can get level 71 you'll get seven of the blue chests at level 71 now guys this used to be a single blue chest at level 71 in previous lucerne scrolls this was one blue material choice chest and now it's up to seven that's almost two purples right it's almost two purples which is awesome so if you are a low spender but you're active in the game and you know you can do all the challenges and keep in mind you got to do 390 barb forts okay so start early <laughs> start early start today actually just start them today all right um 390 barb forts and if you can do that and you can complete every single daily and every single thing then you can buy the five dollar bundle and your rewards you can get for if as long as my math is correct and you guys can double check me in the in the comments if, if i'm wrong i'll pin a comment with it okay uh, you can get levels at least level 70 if not 71 right because the math i have here says you can get 7110 clues which would be enough for level 71. that's crazy value for five dollars that's crazy value and you get the city skin that's really cool i think right plus all the materials we talked about earlier level 79 changed as well what does 79 have i love this one by the way too i'm excited for that 79 went from one purple chest to two which means that level 79 is slightly better than level 71 um yeah it, it's it is what it is level 79 double the rewards and level 80 is a full shio's return blueprint that means it's a, it's equivalent to 30 fragments that's crazy right now let's talk about this for a second because um shio's return is one of the easiest to get legendaries all right so the fact that they're giving it to you here is you know it's not the legendary i would have picked i already crafted shio's return recently right so i already have this um but i think that this is a great legendary for infantry because it's good there's just the boots what are you going to use for infantry for boots right the frost treads or whatever this is a really good item for infantry um i wish they would have put something else here honestly but it is what it is hopefully next season they'll do something else i swear to god if it's eternal night bro i can't with you guys but regardless if you're a new player or you haven't gotten shio's return yet this is an excellent excellent value right amazing value you will either need to buy the 20 dollars bundle or you will have to spend some amount of gems to go from 71 up to 80. the amount of gems that you're going to need is pretty substantial in order to do that and honestly if you're considering gemming it i would just say i i, I don't think you should do it right i just i just don't think you should because um if we purchase one level right it's 750 gems so if we're purchasing nine levels nine times 750 is 6750 gems that's just a lot of gems to save 15 bucks right and if you're a low spender maybe you want to farm gems and you want to complete looser and scrolls by doing it that way um and that's totally possible if that's if that's the only way that you can do it within your budget or if you just hate spending money in a mobile game and you would rather grind it out then by all means farm those gems kill those barbs like go for it um because you know i mean there's there's some cool rewards up here are these rewards worth 6750 gems and we're talking 72 through 80 no pr probably not unless you want shio's return right if if you don't have shio's return and you don't want to like even even with that though you can get this pretty much for free through lost canyon you just got to grind it out i don't know i don't think it's necessarily worth the 6750 gems but um i went ahead and i bought the 20 dollars bundle because 
I don't like to do the forts, first of all. I just hate it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of this, I only did like 10 forts. <laughs> I just don't do forts. I hate it, okay? I'm being honest with you guys. Um, and I just, I just like to be able to know that I will definitely finish this with a couple of these extra looser chests left over. Maybe if I wait a little bit longer, I could be a little, a little more responsible with how I purchase, but it is what it is. But either way, this Shio's return being in here for older players is not that exciting. For newer players, I would say that this is actually pretty cool, right? This is pretty cool because if you're a new player and you're a low spender, it's actually going to be pretty hard for you to get the currency that you need in the Lost Canyon because you're really going to be struggling um, up against some of the, the higher tier players. I mean, just I'm 324 and I only get 438 per hour, right? And you need uh, 7,500 for a single fragment and you need 30 fragments. So if you're really far down, you're just not you're not going to be making that much uh not many metals what are the, what is this metal i don't even know what this currency is called what is it called it doesn't even say i can't even click it's like canyon coins or something like that i don't know <laughs> anyway um if you are a new player you're free to play or a low spender this is going to be difficult to get and so by spending getting the 20 dollar bundle you will be able to get a shio's return complete blueprint relatively easily and i think that's really exciting for those players that fall in that bracket and i think that's probably a, a more players than a lot of us realize i think a lot of us older players or a lot of us content creators probably don't realize that a lot of people just don't have shio's return because they don't even start buying the fragments in lost canyon because they think it's so far out of their reach right and so by putting it in looser and scrolls they're literally just getting it for free and now they have a legendary just for absolutely nothing that they can start working towards and honestly it's a pretty good legendary to start with because um it is it requires one of the, the the least amount of materials out of any other legendary because the boots the helmets and i think the gloves just across the board require less materials than other pieces of equipment so for example this is 40 pieces of material uh shields return is 40 as well but if you look at something like a chest plate right or you know what let's look at eternal light because that's also um this is seven uh, sorry 60 right so it's a pretty good legendary to start with because it's a lower amount of materials i really like the infantry defense on there if you get the special talent here like maybe you don't even need geo's return but regardless um guys i think that this is a really nice upgrade to trading post because or i'm sorry to looser and scrolls it it's late here okay it's almost midnight when i'm recording this um i read trading post on the screen this is a nice update to looser and scrolls because it's literally just giving us more material choice chests that's really what they did here they give us more material choice chests a few a few less gold keys a couple more experienced tombs uh, and then they just made it easier for you to get the permanent theme, right? So again, guys, which of these bundles should you buy? If you're buying any of these bundles, um, I would say if all you care about is the city skin, buy the $5 bundle, do all your dailies, all the weekly challenges, everything like that. And you should be fine. Now, again, my math was based on every week providing the same number of clues. I'm pretty sure that's how it is, but if they change the rewards, maybe they change the challenges later in the weeks. Maybe it's possible that you could get more clues. I, I doubt it, but anything can happen, right? Obviously, this came out today. If it changes, then obviously you'll know um, and, and I'll look kind of silly. But regardless, um, if all you care about is the city skin, buy the $5 bundle and then play every single day, do all the challenges and you should be fine. If you really want Shio's return, you've not, you haven't gotten your hands on it yet. I would say that would, this is what would make the $20 bundle worth it. Um, also, if you don't feel like doing all the barb forts and you don't feel like doing all the challenges, then you'll have a little bit of breathing room, right? So that you don't have to be perfect every single day. Uh, and you'll still get the maximum level reward here, which is awesome. Plus you also get a legendary head. You'll also get the material choice chests and this cool little emote here so um yeah there's a couple other goodies here that make it a little bit worth it to spend the extra money but it's up to you guys right um if you are a free-to-play player i don't think much has changed here i think you actually just get a few fewer gold keys and a few more experience i don't really remember um what exactly but at the end of the day guys uh it's up to you remember we are talking about a mobile game so spending here is completely 
optional you don't have to it's a free game anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really actually does help out my channel i'm not kidding you guys i'm serious it helps the dang channel so go ahead and do it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter my discord and my twitch where i do live stream rise of kingdoms at least once a week except for this past week I've just been so busy. I, I I apologize. I didn't get to stream on Tuesday. Usually I stream on Tuesdays, Mondays or Tuesdays or both. Uh, I've just been so busy. I'm, I'm looking for, a, I'm trying to move, right? So I'm moving soon. Um, it, there's just a lot going on in my personal life. Plus I work full time. So forgive me for this last week, but usually I stream rise of kingdoms at least once a week on Twitch. So follow me over on there. And also there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your PC or your Mac. It's a program called blue stacks and you'll experience fewer crashes. than if you play the game on an older phone, it's my favorite way to play. As you can see the cursor on the screen, that's how I'm currently playing right now. So guys, again, it's absolutely free. Give it a try. Link is in the description and one final shout out to Chiskel. I really do appreciate him uh, kind of featuring some of my footage on his channel. So huge shout out to him. If you didn't drop by his channel at the beginning of the video, now is a great time to go over and check out my city getting rallied over on his channel and tune back in tomorrow to see my perspective of that event. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.